Good day viewers, Troy from Troy's Visual Arts channel. Here's the latest update with uh, modifying my 32 line Netco Disc uh, Mechanical TV receiver. Changing from the record disc to the uh, accurately laser cut manila, uh, manila disc. Anyway, uh, yeah, it wasn't too hard to, yeah, wasn't too hard to get the record off and um, yeah. I just um I I drill I, I drilled three holes into the uh gear hub that, that I bought I bought four gear hubs um so I drilled three holes in the gear hub and uh bolted the manila disc onto the gear hub. The gear hub nice and tightly fits over the motor and I've just uh test fired it up and it seems to fire up nicely. Um seems to spin quite nicely so let's switch her on and yeah. It looks a bit wonky to begin with, but as it reaches a certain speed, it's it's pretty uh, taut. So yeah, it's spinning very, very nicely. So I'm very pleased about that. Now it's going to be a matter of um, reallocating the uh, synchronization. Um, Photo diode and photo transistor. Actually, it's a no. It's not. Yeah, um, no, it's an infrared LED and a photo trans. A photo. I think it's a photo diode on the other side. I think it's a photo diode. Yeah, photo diode. But anyway, um, yeah, that's just me getting mi getting mixed up with things. So yeah, it's a infrared LED and a. Uh, photo diode on the other side so I'm just going to line them up to about there where that's where the uh, sink holes are and I've got to move the uh, I've got to move the uh, LED matrix and the magnifying glass um, over a bit so it aligns up with the uh, with the scanning holes and should be she should be sweet anyway it's I'm really pleased that it's spinning very nicely with with very very minimal uh, wobble. So I'm pleased about that. Now it's a matter of yeah, just moving those parts over and uh, yeah, put a signal through and see how we go. Alrighty. Well, anyway, stay tuned for the next update on the modification of my uh, synchronized NIPCO disc receiver. This is Troy from the Troy's Visual Arts Channel signing out.